Parallel universes are often depicted in science fiction movies, TV shows, comic books, and even literature. But just because they are used in fiction doesn't mean they are. In this video, we focus on stories from people who claim to have visited parallel universes, real scientific discoveries, and even claims made by one of the century's most celebrated scientists, as we explore five signs parallel universes exist. Number five, the woman that woke up in a different universe. On July 16th, 2008, 41 year old Lorena Garcia woke up to a strange and unexpected surprise. The bed sheets she was sleeping on were different than the ones that she went to bed on. While this confused her a bit, she was able to brush it off enough to get up and go to work. Everything was fine with her commute and all seemed normal, until she got to work, that is. When she arrived at the floor of her office for the job that she had been employed at for the past two decades, she was surprised to find many unfamiliar faces. What was even more confusing is that when she arrived at her office door, the name sign at the entrance wasn't her own. It was a name she had never heard before. This is when she began to panic. Worried that she had been let go without a heads up, she logged on to the company internet. She still had access to the server, which meant she was still employed. However, when she went to the company directory, she found that she was working in a completely different department on a different floor. This is the point when her day became too strange to continue. Under the impression she was having a mental health crisis, she told her employer she'd be taking a sick day. That day, she checked all the information of hers that she could. Her driver's license, bills, bank account, but everything added up. She then decided to go to the doctors to see if something was wrong with her. Upon drug testing and mental health screenings, she was informed nothing was wrong. But she couldn't ignore the subtle differences in her life that day from the life she remembered when she went to sleep the night before. Lorena also remembered leaving her boyfriend six months prior to the event, and she began to see a new man named Augustine who lived down the road and had a young son. However, when she called his number, she was told that no one by that name had lived there. As the days passed, she noticed even more subtle inconsistencies in her life. When she got in contact with her ex-boyfriend, she learned that they had never broken up. When she was speaking to her family, she inquired about her sister's shoulder surgery, but her family informed her that her sister never had or needed a surgery on her shoulder. Lorena continued on with her new life and did her best to fit in. She eventually hired an investigator to find Augustine and his son, but this was unsuccessful. With no answers coming from doctors, she began to research theories and came to the conclusion that she woke up in a parallel universe. At this point, she posted in an online forum looking for anyone with answers. Her post read, Please, if anyone has gone through something similar, please contact me. I want to know what happened to me as no pathology can tell me what has happened to me. I've spent the last five months reading theories that I found online and I'm convinced that I've jumped into an alternate reality. Something, some action I must have taken changed my reality. She continues to say, to explain myself better, this is like having lost the last five months of my life. It's like they were all just a dream. However, everyone else has the memories of those five months except for me. And I've done things during that time that I have no memory of doing so. What do you make of this story? Bold spot. Sure, stories from people who claim to have interacted with parallel universes are great, but sometimes it can be hard to trust the credibility. So in this segment, I offer you science. In 2017, research led by Durham University was submitted for publication through the United Kingdom's Royal Astronomical Society. The research was about a cold spot that was identified in the universe by NASA's WMAP satellite in 2004. The cold spot refers to a massive place in the universe near the Eridanus constellation that has significantly less density of galaxies than the rest of the universe. No study has been able to replicate the result to find out why this would be happening. For a long time, the generally agreed upon theory was that the area was hidden by a supervoid, which essentially means objects that may exist in this space are impossible to see due to light being distorted as it travels through a vast expanse of nothingness to reach us, and the light never regains its energy as a result of the expanding universe. This is chalked up to being completely random. This theory, however, was proven wrong by the 2017 study, which led scientists to dive into a new theory. The cold spot is actually a parallel universe colliding with our own. The theory relies on the idea of bubble universes, and according to Professor Tom Shanks of Durham University, it could be taken as the first evidence for the multiverse. To be brief, the bubble theory is the idea that the universe continues to inflate in some spots, but stops in others, creating the image of a bubbling universe. 
other universes would be surrounding ours, taking up and giving to our space the same. So our universe would technically be sitting within a mass of other universes bubbling into each other. Scientists speculate that the cold spot is another universe expanding into the same space as ours, creating a collision. An interesting thing about the bubble theory is that if it is true, it is possible that the other universes may have completely different laws of physics, as they are not actually connected to ours. To go one step further, that brings the idea that if this is the true nature of the cold spot, the colliding universe could bring a whole new set of laws that could change the way we perceive and interact with our universe forever. Number three, the Montauk Project. This story traces back to a man named Preston Nichols from Long Island, New York. Nichols claimed to have degrees in parapsychology, psychology, and electrical engineering. Apparently, during his work, he was able to recover repressed memories of his involvement in a secret government project called the Montauk Project. In this alleged project, the United States worked experimenting with time travel, teleportation, mind control, and more. The project was supposedly launched to study the effects of teleportation after the wildly successful Philadelphia experiment. The experiment where researchers accidentally traveled to a parallel dimension. The Philadelphia experiment was an experiment to create a technology that would make ships invisible to radar detection. But in 1943, scientists achieved even more than they could have hoped for. During a trip, the USS Eldridge went literally invisible, teleported into another dimension, and then reappeared off the coast of Norfolk, Virginia. Or so the story goes. Unfortunately, due to the intensity of the trip, much of the crew was found dead, and those who had survived had mental breakdowns. The experiment's success was the supposed origin of the Montauk Project, as scientists and military officials were intrigued with the idea of exploring teleportation and interdimensional travel. By the 1960s, the project was officially launched, and Dr. John von Neumann took head. The project took aim at finding the cause of the physical and psychological damage done to those who traveled through the dimensions. Their research concluded that humans are born with a time reference point that links them to the electromagnetic fields which are unique to our Earth and dimension. This is why the jump to another dimension was devastating. Dr. Von Neumann apparently solved this issue with a computer-simulated Earth that altered the time reference points linked to humans. It is said he was successful at sending many people to other dimensions with no harmful effects. The Montauk Project was also researching mind control, which may explain why the account from Preston Nichols only came from his discovery of repressed memories. There were many shady experiments that were said to take place under the project. In 1967, a report was sent to Congress with the findings about interdimensional travel and mind control. Following this, officials became increasingly worried with the possible applications of the technology and pulled the plug on the funding. This was apparently the end of the Montauk project. Nichols later wrote a series of books on his experience, which he states contain many soft facts. Due to the outlandish claims, the book is often read as a piece of fiction. To this, Nichols responded, whether you read this as science fiction or non-fiction, you are in for an amazing story. Number two, the Markawasi Stone Forest. The Markawasi Stone Forest is located in the Andes Mountains in Peru. The area is famous for its amazing rocks that seem to resemble many different figures, including human faces, animals, and even religious symbols. What makes them even more interesting is that researchers have no idea how they were formed. There is speculation that they may have just naturally happened to form that way, or that some ancient civilizations amazingly were able to carve the massive rocks. The site is about 4,000 meters above sea level. Although fascinating, that is not the most fascinating aspect of the location. It is also said to be the home of a cabin that acts as a door to another dimension. Dr. Raul Rio Centeno is an investigator from Lima of all things unexplained. He tells the story of an incredible testimony from a woman who came to see him after she explored the stone forest. Following her visit, she had developed an extreme case of hemiplegia. This is a disorder that causes a loss of motor function in half of the body. She believed the disorder was a result of stepping into a very peculiar cabin she and her friends happened across while touring the area. The woman and her friends were out late at night when they saw a torch-lit cabin not too far away. As they walked closer, the woman claimed she saw people inside dancing in what looked like 17th century attire. She claimed she felt an otherworldly pull into the cabin, and just as she was entering about halfway through the door, one of her friends pulls her back. 
the doctor supposedly ran some tests and found that there was no other reasonable cause for the disorder to happen. The two of them believe it was as a result of her body experiencing a dimensional shift, which caused a change in her nervous system. Going back to the story of the Philadelphia experiment, there could be some merit to the claim. Again, with most stories like these, it can be hard to put so much stock into what could very easily be an urban legend. So in my next century, we focus on a very credible scientist who also believes in the existence of other universes. Number one, Stephen Hawking's final paper. Arguably the smartest man of our time, and perhaps even of all time, Stephen Hawking is often looked at to confirm or speculate on all the questions of our universe. He has also never shied away from topics of science that may verge onto science fiction. This includes time travel, alien invasions, and yes, even parallel universes. In his final paper before his death, he and his co-author laid down the mathematical framework for discovering other universes. Before the paper, Hawking had followed the generally accepted theory of the Big Bang. Since the bang was so powerful, many scientists assume that even the slightest action from energy at the quantum level had the potential to swell into a brand new universe. By accepting this as fact, you would also agree that if the universe continues to inflate, this is continuously happening. Therefore, there is an infinite number of universes continually developing. Our own could very well be a blip from another big bang from another universe. All of these, of course, could be vastly different or eerily similar. But Hawking was frustrated with this theory, as it tells us very little about our own universe and how ours should operate since the math was focused on the idea of an infinite number of universes, not just ours. This is what inspired the legendary scientist to work on his final paper. Hawking and his co-author Thomas Hertog of the University of Leuven decided that this idea was actually quite overboard. They believed that there was, in fact, a finite number of universes, and set out to prove just that. They created a much simpler model of the universe, one that mathematically shows there is a limit to the amount of universes that can exist. At first, for those who want to believe that somewhere in another universe, they are living out every single one of their dreams and more, this may be a bit discouraging. But the other points made in this paper make up for that. The paper also explains that the other parallel universes that do exist adhere to the same laws of physics that exist in our universe. Older conclusions of the multiverse theory state that many of these other universes are dark, empty, dead, or just full of nothingness. Hawking and Hertog believe that this is not the case. With more refined rules for the multiverse theory, we are able to speculate that yes, there is a good chance there is another you, there are many other yous. Unfortunately, much of the paper is more of a conclusion formed by opinions and not mathematically proven to be true. However, Hawking has been famous for making predictions that were later proved, such as Hawking radiation, which I spoke about in my video about black holes. So do you trust the theories of this scientific great? If you don't, there's still a good chance that there is another version of you that does. <laughs>